need to make this bushing for the engine adapter plate, like alignment pin kind of thing. And I don't have a lathe, so I took this aluminum piece that's kind of like flat on one side that just had laid around, threw it in the vise vertically, drilled the hole all the way through, and I put like a little plug in it and uh, tightened it up and it tightens right to the drill bit now so it stays in place. And I have some tooling and stuff like that from an old lathe. So I just put it in my vise and it's kind of like a lathe, weird kind of setup. got the dowel pins bushings made on the mill they turned out great and you can see that's what's gonna keep the adapter plate clocked in the right position so if you have to swap the motor again and it uh, will be perfect again right, I set the adapter plate on everything's all good and painted so it doesn't rust but this is a adapter plate off a skid steer and it's gonna be adapted to this 2.2 Chevy engine repowered and there's the awesome chain coupler M12 with a 1.5 pitch that's what the bell housing bolts are you see this here goes right in there really good and then this one here will go there in there too basically I took a longer bolt and then I cut the threads off so that this would act as like a perfect double pin for inside that bushing I made and it turned out pretty good but that's that so you get those two bolts in first and then uh, once those are in it won't move it's in perfect position then you can throw the other bolts in it doesn't matter here's the gale bell housing and I had a torch out, actually plasma cut out, the starter goes, and the other bolts because otherwise it would have interfered. And there's one more spot I have to plasma cut out. And it's right down here where this bolt is in the way. So then I will just. Uh, Maybe I'll just round that weird or something like that. Plasma cut that out like that. And then it'll be kind of round like that. And then I'll end up probably drilling a hole here, here, and whatnot. I'll throw a, a bolt all the way through that shit. And then, uh, 
some bolts in there and some bolts over here and it already has bolts coming through the bottom so that'll be all perfect or good enough but before I tighten everything up I'll throw my pump on so then it'll dead align this thing and then I'll bolt it down and then I'll put some 10 millimeter dowel pins that I'm going to drill somewhere on the outer ring of this bell housing for alignment pins and then it should be done get to the plasma cutting now okay so now I'm ready to plasma cut I'm using this uh, cut 50 DP it's a cheap eBay plasma cutter first time I ever used it it shit out on me and they sent me a new circuit board and it's worked ever since and uh, well, I'm gonna start uh, cutting this Make sure I'm on the right side here. It looks like uh, something. The switch disconnected in the handle, so I'll probably have to take that apart again and plug the wires back on. That seems to come off a lot on here. All right, so I'll fix that real quick. Got it back working. Make sure I don't have no gas sitting around here somewhere. All right, finish cutting this up. Now let's grind that up a little bit, make it look nice and hopefully it'll work.